Oh no, baby's crying. Why a baby so loud? There, baby stopped crying. But her mouth is missing. Where did it go? <laughs> it's time to feed your little sister. But she can't eat without a mouth. Oh. We will feed her. Oh. You'll need to find her mouth first. Let's check out the mouth store. Look at all the mouths! We need to find a new mouth! There's a pair of kissy lips. But they might not be right for baby. That one has a clown nose! But baby's not a clown! Oh, Pit! That's a bird's beak! Baby pecked holes in the bottle! Penny, that's a robot mouth. You'll have to keep looking. That smiley mouth looks good. Ew, it's filled with stinky breath. Maybe Baby can pick her own mouth. But those have very sharp teeth. Don't get too close, kids! Now what will Pit and Penny do? <laughs> Phew! It was just a daydream! <laughs> Baby can drink from her bottle! I'm so glad she had the mouth! And she has stopped crying! Kid and Penny want to watch La La Fan Fan Duck! But she has a challenge for them! Let's go! First challenge, get three shapes in a row! Done, Ben! 
Penny. <laughs> We need to hurry. <laughs> It's another puzzle. Knows what to do. Look, we need the same colors. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, <laughs> green, blue, and purple. The colors of the rainbow. One challenge left. Look at this. Aww, we need the same shape. You did it, and here's your prize. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> It's Lala Fan Fan Duck. We did. Hit is dressed up like an elephant. What's wrong, Pit? Where are my ears? Oh no, Pit lost his elephant ears. Where could they be? <laughs> Penny is a bunny. <laughs> Poor Pit still hasn't found his ears. Could those be Pit's ears? <gasps> Those are Penny's ears. <laughs> Carrot is a mouse. Maybe Pit would like some cake. <gasps> I've lost my ears. Oh. Oh. Carrot has an extra pair. <laughs> What do you think, Pit? Too small for elephants. Uh, oh. <sighs> It will have to keep looking. <laughs> Cherry's a cat. The wind took her ears. <gasps> Are those Pitt's ears? <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <sighs> no, they're the ears Cherry lost. There's some ears. <laughs> But are they the right ears for an elephant? Uh. Those ears belong to Pear the dog. Kid, you're wearing Pear's ears. <laughs> I've lost my ears. Maybe Dada. Pear can help find them. <laughs> It's the elephant ears. <laughs> But they're too high to reach. A little higher. <laughs> you did it, Pit. <laughs> Friendship helps in trouble. <laughs> What a wonderful play! <laughs> It's a very windy day. Oh no! Pig lost a snout, and Duck lost her beak. It's Duck's beak. <laughs> And Pig snout. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Elephant is crying. He lost his trunk. <laughs> the penny? That nose belongs on the pig. Quack, quack, quack. The pit. That nose belongs on the duck. <laughs> duck is missing her nose as well. What do you see, Penny? A rhino horn! Careful! There's the elephant trunk! <laughs> oh, Pit, the horn belongs on the rhino! <laughs> oh, Penny, that's the elephant's trunk. <laughs> The animals want their proper noses back! You can do it, Pit and Penny! Pig has his snout! Duck has her beak! Rhino has his horn! And Elephant has his trunk! Well done! <laughs> Miss Apple, what will we be learning? Today, we'll study the planets. But someone is snoring. It's Pit. Shh. He's dreaming he's an astronaut. <laughs> and he's exploring the planets. <laughs> But the planets don't seem happy. Poor Pit. Why are they so unhappy? Oh no! The planets are hungry! <laughs> Help, Pit! There's only one planet left! <laughs> hey! Get them back! <laughs> Pit has an idea! <gasps> the feather will do the trick! <laughs> Let's put them back in their proper place. That's not the right planet. Try again, Pit. Not that one either. This one looks right. This planet is… Mercury! And this is… Venus! Next comes… Earth! Ah. Okay, Pit. Finish the rest. Mars! Uh -huh. 
Jupiter. Saturn. Keep going, Pit. Uranus. Uh -huh. And the last one is... Neptune. <laughs> the planets are in the correct <laughs> order. <laughs> Pit, wake up. <gasps> you were sleeping. <laughs> Does Pit remember the planets? <gasps> Jupiter! Saturn! Uranus! And Neptune! Pit oh. remembered all the planets! Oh. Good job, Pit! <laughs> Baby is playing with building blocks! Oh. What if she comes a builder? Would Baby be a good construction worker? Uh-oh! That building is going to fall! Pit thinks Baby needs a different job. No! She will become a doctor! Doctors help people when they're sick. Look at all the things she can use! Let's put a bandage on Pit. That isn't the best spot for one. Now she has a little hammer. Penny, can you think of something else for Baby to do? She'll become a musician! Can she play the piano? Give it a try, Baby! That sounds terrible. Can Pit turn it off? Can Penny turn it off? You can do it, Penny! Phew, that's better. What else can Baby try? She will become a police officer! Police officers keep people safe. Here's your police car, Baby! Slow down, baby, or you'll break something! Hmm? Ooh, Pit saved the TV! Watch out, Pit! Penny, can you stop, baby? Maybe baby shouldn't be a police officer. What should she try next? She'll become an artist! Here's a paintbrush and some paint. And an easel to paint on. What will Baby make? <gasps> baby will make… a mess. <laughs> no, Baby! You'll get paint everywhere! <laughs> 
Maybe being an artist isn't the best choice. Daddy is helping clean off the paint. That's much better. Maybe she will become a firefighter? Okay, baby. Let's see if you can be a firefighter. Here's your fire hose to put out fires. Baby just wants to spray Pit and Penny. <laughs> Baby is too high! How can we get her down? Pit will turn off the water. And Daddy will catch Baby! We wanted to find a profession for the baby! <laughs> baby is too small to choose a profession. I don't know, Daddy. Something tells me she might become a chef. Here comes the luggage. Officer Pumpkin makes sure it's all safe. What did he see? Oh no! It's Pit! <laughs> Pit, you can get on luggage belt. <gasps> they can be dangerous. I'm sorry. <gasps> Stop, wait. Now where's Pit going? <gasps> he loves watching the planes take off. <gasps> Don't run away from us. It's easy to get lost here. Hmm. Airports can be very crowded. See? Pit lost daddy. That's not daddy. Now let's weigh the luggage. Yay! It's the perfect weight. Now let's weigh Pit's suitcase. It's too heavy. He packed too many toys. Pit, you've taken too much stuff. Pit thinks the plane can carry all his toys. If the plane is too heavy, it can't fly. <gasps> <laughs> Be careful, kids! Where are Mommy and Daddy? Oh no! They left without us! Maybe Officer Pumpkin can help! Kids, don't cry! I'll take it to your parents! <laughs> See how worried Mommy and Daddy are? Pit! Penny! They're looking everywhere for Pit and Penny! Pit! Pit and Penny are safe! Thank you, Officer Pumpkin! Remember, kids, don't talk to strangers at the airport! If lost, ask a police officer or flight attendant for help. Hurry! The plane leaves soon! 
It's okay, Daddy. There's another line. <laughs> Pit doesn't want to wait in line. It's important to stay in line. <gasps> you need to wait your turn, Pit. Now the flight attendant can help you! Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Have a fun trip! <laughs> Kids, we are going on a trip! Hooray! Pit and Penny are going on vacation! <gasps> Hurry up, Daddy! The airplane will leave soon! What are you going to do on the plane, Pit? I'm gonna listen to my music for the whole! This is the flight attendant, and she has an announcement. Hello, dear passengers. Please listen to the safety rules. Pit? Pit? Oh no, Pit's music is too loud. <coughs> Why not tap him on the shoulder? Pit, you need to listen to the safety rules. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Pit is ready to listen. Please fasten your seatbelts. It is now safe for the airplane to take off. Whee! This sign means you must stay in your seat. That cloud looks like a castle! Oh! Penny, you've forgotten the safety rules! Oh, Penny, you can't move right now! Look at this sign! You must stay in your seat when it's on! Oh! Okay! Good! Pit really needs to use the bathroom. Hold on, Pit! Okay, Pit, yes. you can now leave your seat. But watch for others! Run in the airplane. Do you understand me? Yes, mommy. Okay, here you go. Time to put your seatbelts back on. Yes, Mr. Potato, that means you too. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. Huh? What are Pit and Penny up to now? <laughs> Wake up, Mommy! Huh? What? They are being too loud! Oh. Kids, be quiet! Oops! We're sorry! Penny returns to her seat. And Pit buckles up his seatbelt. There we go. And now the flight is over. <laughs> Bye, Pit and Penny and Mommy and Daddy. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Penny is playing dress up. But Pit and Daddy have fallen asleep. Wake up, Pit! Where did Penny go? Wake up, Daddy! Dad? I don't see Penny anywhere! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs>
Penny, that's not very nice. And where is Pit and Daddy? Oh no! I'm lost! Penny! Where are you? Huh? Maybe she's behind these clothes? Pit and Daddy, you look silly. <gasps> Not again! Watch out! Can mommy help find Penny? Penny, that looks like Pitt's hat! Oops, but that's not Pitt. Maybe those are mommy's shoes. They're not mommy's shoes. Officer Pumpkin, can you help Penny? Help me! I've got lost! Don't cry, kiddo! I'll help you find your parents. Attention! Penny's parents, please go to counter one! Look! Penny found her family! Remember, if you're lost, stay where you are and call your parents! Oh, thank you, officer! Help! Oh. Help! Oh. Oh, Dad! I'm lost! Oh, Pitt! Your head is stuck in a sweater! <laughs>